Hello and welcome to this week's Battle of the Ports and what was a very popular puzzle game of the time. This is FACE's 1997 arcade release, Money Idol Exchanger, or Money Puzzle Exchanger as it was called in the West. Being released for the Neo Geo arcade platform, Money Idol Exchanger has the same gameplay as Fujitsu's earlier PC game, Mojia, but structured as a stacking game similar to Magical Drop whereby players race to prevent a perpetually falling array of coins in different values from filling up the screen. Coins are combined vertically and horizontally to form higher vertical value coins. For example, 5 1 yen coins will form a 5 yen coin, and 2 5 yen coins will form a 10 yen coin and so on, until 2 500 yen coins are put together, at which point both disappear. Coins are arranged and coloured to match dominations of the yen coins. Two bonus tiles allow for changes in gameplay. A green RU tile will rank up all the coins of the same denomination. For example, all 10 yen coins will become 50 yen coins. A blue ER tile will erase all coins of the same value. In the single player mode, one or two characters can be selected who attempt to beat up to seven characters. In the two player mode, both players fight each other until the victory. The quicker and more efficient each player clears out their screen, the quicker the other player's screen will fill up. Since filled screens offer the most opportunity for chaining together large combos, the tide can turn very quickly. The very first port of Money Idol Exchanger was to the Game Boy on August 29th, 1997, courtesies of Athena, and what a solid port it is considering the hardware. I'm playing in Game Boy Color mode here in the hope that I could get some coloured coins, but no such luck. Featuring the CPU versus mode as well as the high score challenge mode, this Game Boy port will keep you entertained for hours. I do have one gripe with it though. At first, the controls do feel a little bit slippery, causing you to move coins into the wrong area. However, after about 10 minutes of play, you do become accustomed to the unique feel this port has. After the Game Boy, Japanese Windows 95 users got a port by GMF on March 20th, 1998. This port of the game is quite rare, but can still be found on Yahoo Auctions for around 6,000 yen upwards. The footage you are seeing here was not played by myself. It's a video found on the Japanese net. Credit goes to the uploader, Fanako. I'll add a link to the original footage in the video description. I'm not sure if it is the original capture, but it does seem that the PC version has trouble scrolling the backgrounds. The main game looks good if not lacking in animation.
November 5th, 1998 saw the PlayStation port hit Japanese stores. This again was developed by Athena, just like the Game Boy version. This port starts off with a grainy FMV of the arcade opening, which is a shame, and then we have the longest loading times. However, once in game, the plus points start to shine. For the start, we now have some options that allow us to change various aspects of the game. There's also a story mode to go along with the standard arcade modes. There's also a lot more voice in this version as well. All in all, the PlayStation port is a good one. Just a shame the loading couldn't be a bit quicker and we got a proper intro instead of the FMV. <laughs> Let's take a look at all those versions of Money Idol Exchanger running side by side. <laughs> 